there are several AV receivers available, and today I will assist you in selecting the finest AV receiver under $300. Don't assume that since something is inexpensive, it must be inferior to more expensive options. In fact, the scenario may be exactly the reverse of what you think. Of fact, the majority of the receivers in this video have limited functionality or have poor sound quality. However, if you don't have an expensive stereo or didn't earn excellent marks in music, now is the greatest opportunity to enhance your home with the finest budget AV receiver. A Bluetooth adapter is included with the Yamaha RS202BL, allowing for wireless playing from smartphones. Choose a song from the collection on the screen and listen to it in full-scale high quality through your audio deck. The FM or AM tuner has preset memory, allowing you to tune in to all of your favorite radio stations at once. The gadget is of medium size, 12.63 by 17.13 by 5.5 inches. It has a black and aluminum front panel. The information display is in the center, and there is a huge volume control knob to the right of it. A headphone connector and a key for switching acoustic systems are located on the left, close to the power button. The receiver allows for the simultaneous connection of two sets of speakers. The remote control is composed of plastic, has a comfortable grip, and no backlight. An eco mode is available, which reduces power usage to half a watt by default. The robustness of the bass range and the fact that the music sounds clear even at high levels have pleasantly pleased me. The solo sections of the instruments and vocals are emphasized. Male and female voices are delivered in a natural manner, with particular emphasis on the tiniest nuances. Because a large number of benefits are bundled in one little gadget, this receiver has a good chance of becoming the finest 5.1 AV receiver under $300. The Sony STRD-H190 is unquestionably the best pick if you want great sound. The setup procedure is straightforward enough for a novice to complete. The RCA inputs allow you to connect stereo speakers as well as other devices. By operating the receiver remotely, you may listen to music from a variety of audio sources. The Bluetooth capability is mostly used to broadcast sound from external sources. The Sony STRD-H190 is no less capable than the more expensive Yamaha RX V683 or Onkyo TX-NR575 when it comes to controlling the receiver with your smartphone and turning on your favorite music in the blink of an eye. I checked the streaming rate and found no second delay, demonstrating the product's high-end capability. A strengthened chassis is also included in the receiver's design to reduce vibration and improve signal quality. The tuner's operation is the sole drawback. It can only listen to FM radio channels and detect them slowly. Because not everyone can be so inventive, my advice is to just stop listening to the radio and concentrate on other receiver alternatives. To be honest, the Sony STRD-H190 is an excellent choice for anyone looking to replace their old equipment or who has never used a device like this before. All of the product's features are useful and effective in amplifying sound power and improving audio quality. Given all of the advantages, this receiver will undoubtedly earn your trust. When you need a solid stereo amplifier with a few settings but lots of connections, a phono input jack for a turntable, and an FM slash AM tuner for your favorite radio stations, the Pioneer SX-10A is a smart choice. It comes in a solid black finish and is small in size, 12.6 by 17.1 by 5.8 inches. A common arrangement of controls on the front side includes tone correction, balancing, and five direct source selection keys. One is branded Bluetooth, while the other is labeled network. Everything is evident in the first case, the receiver allows music to be played from mobile devices. Network is just the name of one of the line ports to which a network player can be connected. There are two speaker terminal pairs, and speakers may be connected to both at the same time. Except for the fact that they are near to each other, the terminals are simple yet quite useful. Only the basic SBC codec and Apple's AAC are supported by the SX-10A, optional DAC or not. The gadget generates a very dynamic sound, in which you can sense the sound stage's proper structure. There is also a built-in Bluetooth receiver in addition to the radio module. From any smartphone or tablet, you can quickly send your favorite tunes to your device. For those who don't need anything more than the bare essentials, the Sony STRD-H550 might be the greatest budget home theater receiver. Although this receiver lacks communication connectors, it boasts excellent signal processing, including 3D pass-through, HDMI to HDMI scaling, and analog to HDMI upconversion. 
It contains a USB port as a bonus, but no network media sources, so if you want to view Netflix, you'll have to look for another model. You should also be cautious with this receiver since it lacks an auto power off feature, which means that if you forget about it, it will remain in standby power mode and drain power. It's not a lot, 0.3 watts, but it's still unpleasant. Another prominent receiver from Onkyo might boost the performance of your home entertainment system. Despite its inexpensive cost, this model is multifunctional and can do a variety of essential tasks at the same time. The Onkyo TXNR676 has a variety of appealing design elements. To begin, the setup procedure is straightforward. Reading the on-screen directions will help the user comprehend what to do. Unlike other earlier receivers, this one is user-friendly and won't cause any problems when it comes to setting up the device. Second, the Onkyo TXNR676 includes Wi-Fi, Google Cast, and AirPlay capabilities. This feature allows you to listen to music from popular services like Spotify or Pandora. Third, I've found the receiver designed to be extremely useful because the user has a plethora of inputs and outputs at their disposal, allowing for the connection of other equipment, not to mention the wireless capability, which is an added bonus for this model. Finally, compatibility for DTS, X and Dolby Atmos will be available to a large number of people. In terms of performance, I'd like to point out that the receiver works well at any volume. The audio clarity is undistorted in any form, allowing you to hear the pure sound without any interference. The remote control is simple to use and has only the most basic controls to keep the receiver running smoothly. In conclusion, the Onkyo TXNR676 has a good potential of being the finest receiver under $300 if the menu navigation isn't a problem. I would recommend this device as a starting point for people looking to purchase a receiver. The Onkyo TXNR676, on the other hand, may appeal to even more seasoned listeners because it works well both on its own and as part of a larger audio system.